Welcome back to Morning Rush at 623. Here's a look at the top three national and international stories you need to know before heading out the door. At number one, a high speed train crashes overnight and the death toll is rising. We've just learned nine people are dead. That's two more just within the hour. More than 50 people were injured. That train crashed into another train and then a pedestrian overpass near Turkey's capital. This video just coming into our newsroom showing the damage left behind. Among those killed, three train drivers and at number two found alive. Those three people trapped in a West Virginia coal mine for four days are now receiving medical treatment. You can see some of them here, uh, one of them being embraced by family and friends, some soot on his face. Authorities say the two women and man illegally entered the underground mine in search of copper to sell. A fourth person managed to escape earlier this week. They could all face charges and at number three, not facing charges. Prosecutors in New York declining to charge the parent company of the National Enquirer, whose company admitted to writing hush money checks to one of President Trump's alleged mistresses. The tabloid magazine says they bought the rights to a Playboy model story for $150,000 and then intentionally suppressed her allegations until after the presidential election. The parent company also saying that it will cooperate with prosecutors in exchange for that uh, no charge ruling there.